how do you learn? How do you learn new things? How do you, what's the best way that you can learn skills, knowledge, information that you need? Well, the best way to learn is from other people. To learn what they know, to learn what they've done, to learn what they've gone through, to learn what doesn't work, to learn what skills that you need to learn so that you don't make the same mistakes so that you can get there faster. Whatever it is, you can learn from other people. And the best way to learn, if you can't learn from them just directly sitting in front of them, because many people, a lot of people don't have enough time to give you all their knowledge and sit there and tell you and coach you with all the knowledge that they have. There's two good ways to learn from other people. And you can learn from them whether they've done it right or whether they've done it wrong by the examples that they give you, the example of their life, the example of doing it right, the examples they have of doing it wrong. You can learn from the warnings that they give you about the pitfalls they fell into and the struggles that they've had and the challenges and how to not do that. And when you learn from them this way, the, the examples of what to do right and the war warnings of what not to do, that way you know what to do and what not to do and not, and you can learn in such a great way. So what are these two ways? They're really kind of related. The best way to learn from other people is to read books by them and about them. Very successful people, you can, you can, you can learn so much. Everybody that's successful, I promise you, all successful people are good readers. They're curious to know about how things work. They're curious to know how other people did that thing. They're curious to know what I need to do to get there to do the same thing. Successful people read constantly. You know, I think Warren Buffett, I can't remember, he reads three or four hours a day. He reads newspapers and books and magazines. He reads all kinds of things. Successful people have this one thing in common. They read books. They read biographies of other people, autobiographies. They read textbooks. They read scientific books. They read encouraging books. If you want to know how way back, way back in the day of Roman Empire and all of that stuff. If you want to learn how Marcus Aurelius got through and how he made it through some just challenging times leading people, read his book called, I think it's called Meditations. I've got it in the house, called Meditations. It's his writings to himself. It's like his own personal journal. He's writing to himself about his thoughts and how he deals with things and how he thinks about life. And they're very important to us today. You, you, you'll, you'll understand those concepts in a lot of things today, but you can read his, and that was 2,000, 2,500 years ago. I don't know how long ago, maybe, I don't know how long ago it was. You can read and learn from him today. If you want to learn how Ben Franklin was such a success, read his autobiography. It's really interesting. And his principles for success in his life. So much information, and all you have to do is, is go read it. You know, you see you had to go to the library and you had to check out a book. Well, now you, you go on your computer, you go on your phone, you order it, and it comes to your house, or you just read it on your phone. It's that simple to get knowledge today. The second way, it's really similar. Listen to audiobooks. If you don't have time to sit down and read because maybe you're traveling, you're commuting, you're driving, and you don't have so much time to sit down and read, listen to audiobooks. You can easily pick up new ideas and skills just by listening to audiobooks. It's the same information. It's the same way to get the skills. Now, today, there's such a thing as podcasts. Tremendous amount of information you can get on podcasts. And so when you're driving, it's almost like 
a world of radio shows at your fingertips, a world of TV shows at your finger, almost a world of books at your fingertips, audiobooks and really podcasts. Successful people have written their stories in books and they tell us how they accomplished it. Most people don't want to read them or listen to them. And they're missing out on so much. You've got to be a good reader. You've got to be a good listener in order to learn and to grow and to gain this knowledge that you want and to gain the skills. So I would in, encourage you and suggest that you start with 30 minutes every day, just 30 minutes. If you can't do 30 minutes, do 10 minutes. Read a book for 10 minutes every single day, 30 minutes every single day whether they're instructional books on how to do something, whether they're challenging books, challenging your thoughts, something new you hadn't thought about. You can get ideas. They will give you examples how they accomplished what they accomplished. And don't just read the easy ideas. Don't just read the easy books. Read the challenging ones. Read the hard ones that make you think and wonder if that's even possible. Or how did they do that? Can that even be true? Don't read the easy ideas. Read the hard ideas. You need to tap into the treasure of ideas that are found in books. And the best way to do this and what's important in your life, find the books that's important to you. Find the topics you want and invest the money in yourself. The best investment that you will ever make is in your own self-education. Jim Rohn says, don't shortchange yourself when it comes to investing in your own better future. You are your best investment. Invest in yourself. Grow yourself. Find the information you need in books. Read books. Have the courage to go find the information. Have the courage to step out and do something different than you've done maybe to this point in your life. If you've got that burning desire inside of you, you've got to do something different. There's something you're supposed to be doing. It's time to go find it. It's time to step up. It's time to get the courage to go figure out what that is. And if you want a, a, if you want a good book to start with, start with my book, The Success Grower. It's not a long book. This book will teach you how to set goals and achieve goals in your life. It'll teach you how to take that idea, that dream that you have of what you want in your life, plant that seed of an idea and nurture and grow that idea. It doesn't happen overnight. You know, a farmer, I grew up on a farm. A farmer in the spring or in the fall, depending on what crop you're planting, has a great idea to grow this crop and is looking forward to the harvest that's going to come a few months down the road. And he, he goes out and he takes that seed and he plants the seed in the ground. The next day. He gets up the next day and he runs outside. He runs to the window of his house he, or he runs outside and he runs over to the field and he looks at the field and he goes, where's my crop? I planted the seed. Where's my crop? This isn't for me. This isn't going to work. This doesn't work. And that's how we approach our life a lot of times is we have an idea, we, want, we kind of put that idea in our head and we think that tomorrow it's just going to happen. Tomorrow, if we put in one step little effort, it's going to work. But if you continually read books and gain knowledge and gain ideas, you can continually to grow and nurture the idea. Put the fertilizer in your mind to grow this seed of an idea in your mind and in your heart that you want to pursue. So that eventually, like the farmer, he sees the seed the plant come up. He sees it grow. He waters it. He fertilizes it. He takes care of it until he does reach that harvest. And it can be the same thing with the ideas and the desires that you have in your life. If you'll read and nurture and grow the ideas that you have for what you want in your life, 
you'll eventually see the harvest that you want. All the information that you really want and need is out there. It's in books, like the success grower. It's in books. Other people have gone before. Go read about them. Go listen to their stories. Figure out how they did it. Figure out what went wrong and don't do that. That's the great thing about books. You can find what does work and what isn't going to work. So that's your challenge for this week. Find out what you are interested in, what that desire is, what that yearning you have to achieve in your life, and go find the books that can help you get there. And shorten the process. Shorten the process so you don't fall into the same pitfalls. That's... Authors have been so bold to put all their thoughts in books about what works and what doesn't work. And it can be yours. All you got to do is invest in yourself. That's it. Invest in yourself. You can go on Amazon, Barnes & Noble and get this book, The Success Grower. And you can change your life. That's my goal for writing the book is to give you a better life and to change your life because we all have that thing we want to accomplish but maybe we don't know how to do it. This book will help you find out how to do it. So read. Read every day. Learn from other people. Listen to their audiobooks, listen to podcasts, whatever it takes to learn. I'm Mark Schinner sitting on the porch. It's really cold today. It's like 38 degrees out here. Fall's here. Winter's coming soon. This is your Saturday Survival. Mark Schinner from the porch. I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow.